In case you missed it, it's brought to you by Exarban Cinema. Dave Allers along with Mike Kemp. We're just catching our breath here uh, following the game. The Mavericks winning in overtime against North Dakota. And Mike, uh, a game that lived up to everything you could hope for from a one versus five. Absolutely. You know, it was one of those games that started out kind of tentative, both teams feeling each other out early in the first. And then all of a sudden, we picked up a little life. A phenomenal goal by Tyler Vessel. Three guys coming in and made a great backhand shot and put us up one nothing. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of we kept gaining momentum and momentum through that second period. And it was only in the third period when it was a penalty filled period where North Dakota was able to get back into the game and, and they got back into the game in a flurry. You know, there's a when you play against a team like North Dakota that is so experienced, that has so many seniors and juniors who have been through those high pressure games. Sometimes you you know you need to play with a lot of energy, but you have to channel it. And the Mavericks had trouble with that a little bit last night in that there were penalties that were taken that I'm sure looking back on it, they'd like to have back. Oh, there's no question. I think there were situations in the game where a player holds up in a certain position. He doesn't put himself in a situation where he can get a call. We didn't do that with periods of time in the third and second period, the third period, and that cost us last night dearly. I think what, what continues to be remarkable, though, about this team, this team with 10 freshmen, is how resilient it is. I mean, you give up a goal that ties the game in the final minute of regulation time. You know, from here, you could be totally gone. That was not the problem at all for the guys last night. They got back out of the overtime and really pushed the pace. You know, you could see it in the overtime. Actually, when I thought at the end of regulation, we might have been a little stunned by the goal that gave the and made it a tie game. But when we went to overtime, we regrouped in that three minute period before the overtime period started. We came out with a new sense of life. And I thought we carried the play to them through the overtime. Obviously, we benefited from the two penalties, but prior to the two penalties, I thought we had done a good job of changing the momentum that we faced in the third period, changed it to the Maverick side, and uh, in the end, uh, the result was the way we wanted it. Austin Ortega scores the power play goal in overtime, his ninth game winner, leading the nation. But you've seen a lot of hockey. How often do you see a five on three power play in overtime? Well, that was kind of what I thought as, as the calls were being made. I'm thinking, I don't re ever recall seeing a five on three. It's, it's a rarity in regulation, let alone in overtime. And one with, that would end the game basically on five on three situation. The Mavs were fortunate to have that occur, but obviously uh, very happy that it did. The Mavs in a position to earn a sweep tonight but you can say that 100,000 times, that doesn't mean it's gonna be an easy task. This North Dakota team is gonna give it all they got. Well, you made the statement earlier in the, in the segment here that you know North Dakota's an experienced veteran team. They've been in these situations before. They've won on the road. They've played in tough venues. They're a team that's seasoned and used to playing in big games. They'll come out tonight. They'll be prepared. They'll be ready to play. They'll have a sense of urgency. It'll be up to the Mavericks to match that sense of urgency take advantage of the enthusiasm of the home crowd and get the game done. And if we're lucky, we see a game as entertaining as the one we saw last night. We hope you enjoy it.